the tournament edition. No ties in this one. Okay, guys, I want to see blood, (laughs) sweat, tears. Okay, let's get some wine, John. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's right. Good. I hear John really wants to win. Always in it to win. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. We might. Notice I'm pouring myself more, so I have more to go by. (laughs) Hmm. Delicious. Is that your professional assessment? That is exactly yeah. it. Yeah. High viscosity, high alcohol. Yeah. Maybe chest warming wine. I'm yeah. getting a nice yeah, big warming yeah. sensation. Yeah. Good way to start in the morning. Whoa. Yeah, it's a good, <laughs> great wine. Gets you primed really yeah. fast. Yeah. Are we leaning mm. some ways? Mm. Old world, new world? It's not particularly aromatic, other than those really no. ripe baked no. fruit, little scorched earth. And, and that, that, ri- that over ripeness is making the grape variety just a little harder to pick out. Mm-hmm. Um, because it is, it's got that slightly raisiny character. So I'm having a little, a little trouble with it. I'm, I'm going a certain direction on it. Um, I think it's probably old world. I think it's probably Italy. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm not convinced on those. So it's a tough one to begin with. Mm. Yeah. Unless it's southern Italy. Yeah. Could yeah. be from the deep right. south. Southern, right. uh, yeah, south, in southern Italy or uh, sort of a Rapasso method from Veneto, the northeast. Mm-hmm. Is there a varietal that you are leaning towards? Well, if, uh, if I'm going to sort of go with that uh, Rapasso style, uh, that's from the Valpolicella area of northeast Italy. Um, and the style evolves because the, there's a slight sort of drying of the grapes that goes on before they make the wine. It's a blend of different grapes. So one, the prim, prime one there is Corvina in, in Italy. So that would be my guess on it. I, I'm kind of going the same way as you, David. I, I kind of eliminated some New World places. It hasn't got a sort of, uh, sort of juiciness that one would kind of expect to get from some of the New World places. And Ripasso, I think, is a good choice. Uh, the other grape that's used there is Rondinella, so it's Molinara is usually the dominant grape, and Rondinella is the second grape that gives it a bit of, gives it the perfume. Corvina. It's like Corvina, did I say? Molinara, that's the yes. third string grape. Sorry. Oh, yeah. most the gloves are off already. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sorry yeah. to throw in. Molinara is the third one. Yeah, yeah, it might be Molinara in your version. No, 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 no. It's definitely <laughs> Corvina and, and Rondinella. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that's uh, a pretty solid guess. Oh, yeah, it on yeah the line? I think, yeah. gentlemen, place your bets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll lead it off. So, uh, varietal is Corvina and others, or one of those, mm-hmm. a little bit of latitude. Yeah. Uh, country Italy region, Veneto, Valpolicella. Um, the vintage a little bit tough here. I don't think it's that old. I would suspect it's probably 2008. Uh, and Rapasso at this level, I'm going to say it's about 1995. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say almost exactly the same, unfortunately, because I think it's that's what it is. So mm. there's no point in trying to deviate from that. I think it's 2008 as well, because uh, it's just got a little bit of age to it. You can just see some slight uh, yeah. tinging happening here, so that would indicate that to you. Uh, and uh, it could be a little bit cheaper than, than that price, so maybe uh, $18. Okay. Well, thanks for doing the work for me, gentlemen. <laughs> I will wrap it up now. Um, same region, so Italy, Veneto, Corvina blend. Although, just judging by the level of alcohol here, I'm going to move it from Ripasso to Amarone with well, 14, mm-hmm. 15 percent alcohol. Mm-hmm. That's <coughs> very cagey. That's good. And uh, <laughs> the price, if it were Amarone, it would be a little bit more expensive. I don't think it's a top example, but uh, certainly $35 range, vintage 2007. I think it's time to find out. This is my favorite Watch it part. be from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be very angry if that yeah. were the case? Mm-hmm. It's the Masi Amarone. There you go. Uh-huh. Well done, John. Well done, John. I guess you really are in it to win it this round. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks for leading me on the right path. You know? yeah. <laughs> 07 mm. is just a great vintage for Masi and the Amarone. And it's about all gone, so if people want to uh, try this wine, then they should be going and buying it, because it'll be on to our way very soon, I think. Mean. Oh, another we, sip, then. Yeah. Well, congratulations, John. You've started us off on a really good foot. So the scores are in, and John is in the lead with nine points. David and Steve have a bit of catching up to do with six apiece, but let's see what happens in round two.